Tapan Kumar Sen. Uh, you have Thank four, you chairman, four minutes, but uh, the chair before me said ki give him extra time because it, for a special reason, I don't know why. So it's five minutes. Carry on. I think whatever five time I'll speak, minutes, that please. is my due time, legitimate time and I'll speak on that. Legitimate time Thank is you. only four minutes, I'm giving you Thank five you. minutes. Thank you. Secondly, I stand because the time is constrained, I can't elaborate. So I start with Honorable Minister's uh, presentation while pressing the bill. We are, please don't put an imputation that we are not in favor of transparent way of dealing a thing. Please don't put that imputation, that is a false imputation. If you go through our amendment, your so-called transparent mechanism, I think there is no opposition to that. We oppose the bill on certain basic premises. You are altering the basic structure of the 1973 Coal Mine Nationalization Act, which has after a long experience of private mining, they have nationalized the coal mining sector and thereafter the coal production in the country got more than quadrupled, coal conservation has improved, coal mines accident has uh, situation uh, success, uh, considerably improved and the workers lot has also improved a lot. So you are like trying to reverse this in this bill by allowing the coal block allotees to mine coal not only for own consumption, up to that, that was the practice, but also for sale of any other purpose. That will be the opening of the denationalization process, which the country achieved, the people of the country achieved, not only by a government or a prime minister, but also a prolonged struggle of the people which have achieved, you are reversing that process. We oppose to that reversion. You may agree or may not agree, and so we oppose this bill. Second thing you are telling that common people will get coal in two rupee, three rupee kilo, five rupee kilo, for which you are removing that restriction. Honorable Minister, please see, we are purchasing rice at forty rupee a kg in the city, and the producer of that rice are not even getting five rupee kg, and they are. Sa uh, uh, co committing suicide in such kind of pervert economic governance I don't understand only by removing that restriction how can you ensure that small industries eat bhattas and common commoners uh, old ladies they will be getting coal for 2 rupees 3 rupees kg I don't know whatever you have to deliver to the common people it is not possible by any trickle down process that from this that will follow, no, that trickle down pro theory has been proved to be completely a bogus uh, proposition. You have to attack that problem directly to directly deliver. For that, the kind of pricing mechanism we should have put in place, that is not there. The kind of regulatory mechanism is there, should have been there, it is not there. I am not only blaming you, because that was the pattern which has evolved in the process of last three decades in our country. You kindly tell me, iron ore mines, I have personal experience. I am going there as a trade unionist. 300 rupees per ton is the production cost even today. And the same iron ore is being sold at 4,000 5, rupees a ton at a peak period. Huge money was minted by so-called illegal miners in different plants by exporting that and it was allowed. How come such pervert price difference gap? Production cost is 300 rupees per ton, maximum 350 it may fluctuate and the actual final product cost is 4000. But those 300 rupees per ton, the major victim are the workers, they did not get anything out of that. The local inhabitants, they did not get anything out of that. How come that pervert situation continue? Your this bill has got given no solution to that. You are talking about labor dues that will be given priority. Your bill as reported by the select committee, I like to take, draw the attention of Dabe Sahib. Your own select committee as reported by the select committee. That clause is still there. Wages, bonus, gratuity, pension, provident fund, 
these will no more be the liability from the prior reality, will no more be the reality of the liability of the future reality. If clause is there and you will be telling that labor dues will be given priority, where it is there? Yes. After the bill is passed, you are nowhere there. Some other people will be operating. Where are there? Just by sound bite, you can confuse people, mislead people. You do have that right. And you are telling about labor as on date. Please check up with your labor ministry. The coal workers have not included in the scheduled employment. So government has got no right even to set their minimum wages till now. And they are thrown to the mercy of the miners only. Whatever way they want to give. And that's why in my amendment you have specifically demand incorporated amendment. Coal India has already set a standard also for the contract worker. Extend that benefit and ensure that that is statutorily done. Please, I am concluding. If you are telling in the rule, you will take care of. I am afraid. What is the fate of the rules that is already there in the Contract Labor Regulation Abolition Act? In rule, central rules, number 25, it is there for doing same and similar work. Contract workers will be getting the same wages as regular workers. In your own department, the temporary workers who are there, are you giving them? Please check. I am sure you are not giving. Nowhere in the country that was applied. Although they are in the rule, not from today, from 1970 till 2014. That is a fact. And don't, by putting rule, you will be taking care of labor. Please don't make us believe that unrealistic Thank you, thing. Right. It is not the possible. Is Thank you. So you need to be addressed that directly in the bill. Thank you very much. And just, just sir, just. Another point, I think I must respond. Last you are talking point I about have. just, I mean, very quickly. I am very, definitely I will call. You are talking about import. How much import you are making coal? Well, the people are laughing at us since we are importing coal. You are definitely aware of the story of import in our country. 130 million ton last imported in 1314. What is the composition of that? Around 50 million ton is imported as coking coal which is needed for steel production and we don't enough of coking coal our coal quality is such and also we don't ha have enough of washeries which can change the uh, coal with a bigger ash content into coking coal we don't have enough so they require it is an absolute necessity and another 50 million ton out of 130 is being used by our power plants in the coastal areas for them Import a use of import coal makes economic sense than importing taking coal from the foreign speed. And your Ministry of Environment and Resource, Prakash Bhai, is sitting just below you, has issued a Thank notification you very much. You got that the, just completing power yeah. plants situated at thousand kilometers away cannot use coal with thirty four percent ash content because it pollutes. These are notifications in place. Thank you very much. And yes. this is behind the background. Thank you very much. Watch, you have changed. Why? I am not Thank aware. You. Thank you very much. I am not aware. But it is. I will call the next speaker now. Please, please. Till 2013. I will call the next speaker now. Out of 130. At that time, that notification was in vogue. And this is the economics behind it. Import of coal is not a very big problem for our country. And so far as production, augmenting production, for having been, after having been allotted 240 coal blocks. Yeah, look at me also. You yes, are looking I, this side yes. and that's why, that's why I, I, I can't even uh, I, tell you I, 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 that I, means, I, you have gone my, three months I am I'm ending my system, Thank sentence you. only looking at you. That, only looking at you. Thank that you. That during last 20 years in 93 today, out of 240 coal blocks allotted to private sector, only 40 could be made Thank you very much. operational. Thank and you this very much. clearly exposes the mining competence of the private sector. Please don't go into trap. And on this ground, I strongly oppose this. Thank you very much. And I much. to my amendments. Thank Sabanji, you. Thank you.